Lesson 12, equations of a line. All right, a linear equation is an equation whose graph forms a line. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with linear equations um, in the next several lessons. Um, a linear equation typically has an x and a y value. It's an equation whose graph is a line. Linear equations are often written in what we call slope-intercept form. This is the, the way that we graph lines. Okay, this is our y equals mx plus b form. Okay, that is called slope-intercept form. It's called slope-intercept form because it represents, first of all, the slope of the line, which is represented by the letter m. And it also represents the y-intercept, which is the b. Alright, the y-intercept is the place where the line crosses the y-axis. Okay. Now, we talked about how to graph lines by putting them into slope-intercept form and then making a t-chart. And today we're going to be looking at slopes of lines and graphing lines when we're just given the equation of the line, and we're also going to look at um, when we're given the line, making an equation from that line. All right, just a couple things about the slope of a line. Um, slope can be either positive or negative. Okay, how do we know if it's positive? All right, a line is going to have a positive slope if the line goes uphill from left to right. Okay, so if the line moves uphill from left to right, it would be a positive slope. It would be a negative slope if the line goes downhill from left to right. Alright, so if the line goes uphill, left to right it's a positive slope, if the line goes downhill, left to right it's a negative slope. Okay, and we know slope to be rise over run. Okay, we can also call it the change in the y over change in x. That little triangle, that's a delta, Greek letter delta, represents change in it. Alright, so slope can also be rise over run or change in y over change in x. All right, for example, let's move all of this. All right, if we have the equation y equals negative two thirds x plus two. All right, we want to, in looking at this line, we want to determine the y intercept, we want to determine the slope. And we want to determine if the slope is negative or positive. Okay, so first of all, um, going back to this equation, y equals mx plus b. The b value is the y-intercept. So in looking at the equation down below, the 2 is in the place of the b. So the place in which the line crosses the y-axis is at positive 2. Again, if we look at the equation given above, m represents the slope. In this case, 2 thirds is in the place of the slope. And we can determine if um, the slope is positive or negative. Um, obviously, it's given to us as a negative value, okay, which means that when we graph our line, our line is moving downhill from left to right. So it's going to look something like that once, once it's graphed with the y-intercept being the positive 2, and it's going downhill from left to right. All right, on the next slide, you're given some lines on a graph. We're going to write equations for these lines, and then I'm going to give you another set to look at by yourself. All right, the first one, let's look at line A. Line A goes here straight down. Now, if a line goes straight down um, through the x-axis, there is no y equals. It doesn't cross anywhere on the intercept. Okay? So, in this case, 
line A is represented by x equals. Well, where is it on the x-axis? It goes through x is equal to negative 3. And so that is it for our equation of our line. x equals negative 3. Now when we talk about line B, line B goes straight through the y-axis. It doesn't cross, but there is no slope, there's no x value um, given. So in our equation for line B, y equals, well, it goes through negative 4 on that line, so it would be at negative 4 on the y-axis. So b is equal to y equals negative 4. Line c is where we're actually going to have to put it in y-intercept form using y equals mx plus b. Now, if we look at line c, we can determine right away the y-intercept. Where does it cross through the y-axis on our graph? Well, that would be positive 3. So in place of b, we have positive 3. Now we need to determine the slope. Keep in mind slope is rise over run. When you're choosing slope or when you're determining slope, you want to pick two points on the graph at which it intersects completely. I'm going to pick the y-intercept because that's easiest. And I'm also going to go up here to point three four because it crosses nice and evenly there. Okay, so we're going from this point to this point. What is the change in y? Well, it just went up one. Okay? So our change in, in rise is 1. Our change in run from 0 on the x-axis over to where this is on 3. That would be 1, 2, 3. So it ran 3 places. So our slope is 1 third. The final thing that we need to determine is, is the slope negative or is the slope positive? If we go back to our previous slide, okay, here's how we can determine if our slope is positive or negative. If it's positive, the line moves uphill from left to right. If it's negative, the line moves downhill from left to right. This line is moving uphill from left to right. Therefore, it has a positive slope. Plug in our y and our x. And that is the equation of the line for line c. y equals 1 third x plus 3. In this graph, you're given line a and line b. I would like for you to, you don't need to copy the graph down, but I do want you to come up with equations for the lines A and B, and we will check them when we come back into class.